1. We use the present continuous tense for actions happening at the time of speaking. Now, let's give some examples. Look! It is snowing. Harris is singing in the bathroom now. The water is boiling. Can you turn it off? Two, we use the simple present tense for habits or general activities. Now, let's give some examples. I usually get up at 7 o'clock. Do you often have bacon and eggs for breakfast? It snows in Demirji every winter. Three, we normally do not use some verbs in the present continuous. Now, let's give some examples. I think you are right. Mr. Brown likes his job. I love you. Do you know it? She wants a bike. Four. We use the present progressive for a routine or situation that we see as temporary, for a short period. Now, let's give some examples. I'm living with some friends until I find a flat. You working hard today? Yes, we've got a lot to do. Five, we use the simple present for a routine or situation that we see as permanent. Now, let's give some examples. They live in a very nice house. I work at the bank. It is my permanent job. Now, we have a mini quiz. After the quiz, we are going to continue learning the differences. He is staying with friends in London at the moment. I usually don't get home before 10 o'clock.
Alice is repairing the roof of her house today and she needs some help. Can you help her? I cannot talk to you now. I am watching a program on TV. Where is Jenny? She is in the living room. I think she is studying maths. Every Monday, Sally drives her kids to football practice. Be quiet. John is sleeping. I am from Turkey, but I am staying with my brother in London for my language course temporarily. Okay. We continue learning the differences. Six, factual statements or eternal truths are used with present simple. Now, let's give some examples. The earth revolves around the sun. Water boils at 100 degrees centigrade. Seven, we use the present progressive with always in the meaning of very often or too often and this annoys the speaker. Now, let's give some examples. I am always making silly mistakes in exams. Some students are always asking unreasonable questions. Eight. Always with the present simple means all the time. Now, let's give some examples. We always do our projects on computer. My son always finds a friend in the pool. Nine, we use the present simple for arranged future, particularly when it refers to a journey. Now, let's give some examples. The plane to Madrid takes off at 5 o'clock on Saturday. The train to Cambridge leaves at 10 o'clock every day.
the exam starts at 12 o'clock on Tuesday. Ten, we also use the present continuous tense for an arranged future. Mostly travel words are preferred. Now, let's give some examples. My father is flying to Paris tomorrow. I am meeting Mr. Mickey tonight. Eleven, formal ceremonials are expressed with present simple. Now, let's give some examples. I pronounce you man and wife. I name this boy Misha. Twelve, we use present continuous to talk about changing and developing situations even if these are very long lasting. Now, let's give some examples. Computers are becoming more and more important nowadays. The children growing up very quickly. Thirteen, we use present simple for instantaneous use and sports commentaries. Now, let's give some examples. Naveen Yanit maintains her lead over the other athletes. He day yet passes the ball to his friend. Fourteen, newspaper headlines are in simple present tense. Now, let's give some examples. French Parliament accepts the so-called Armenian Genocide. Turkish President goes to the USA. Fifteen, we use present simple with exclamatory sentences with there, here. Now, let's give some examples. Here comes the bride. There she takes her dog for a walk again. Now, we have a mini quiz. Let's see who has listened to the lesson carefully.
rises and rises, gets. is getting catches gets pronounce is always asking Is raining. Always listen. Are getting married. Sets. Leave. Arrives. Floats. Please visit my YouTube channel for more exercises and subject explanations.